Now, moving across town to the Flagstaff volleyball team, I would like to mention we do record this show on Wednesday night, so unfortunately we don't have the results of the Eagles versus Sunrise Mountain match. With that being said, the Eagles have had a super season, and if the Eagles defeat Sunrise Mountain and move on to the next round, do they have what it takes to win a championship? Yeah, these Flagstaff Eagles definitely have a chance. They have really proven to be a big force to be reckoned with in the regular season, and that has translated going into the playoffs as they swept Shadow Mountain earlier this week. These Eagles are undefeated in region, which is a huge accomplishment for the volleyball team. They are looking solid heading into their next match with only eight losses on the season, and they are also currently 28th overall in Arizona. A few key players to look out for is senior Lydia Miller and junior Tara, Br Tara Brain. Miller has been performing outstanding as she is, has over 350 kills and 223 digs this season, while Brain has over 150 blocks, while actually 90 of those are solo blocks. It will be exciting to see what head coach Beth Haglin and the Eagles have in store as the postseason progresses. That's right, Ryan. Another reason this team is so successful is their height. If a basketball coach saw these girls, they would be in heaven. The Eagles have Teresa Placias, who is 5'10", Captain Lydia Miller, who is 5'11", and Reese Honani, who is also 5'11". The tallest, though, is hotshot Tara Brain, who is a whopping 6'1", and she uses her height to her advantage. You mostly see this advantage being used at the net. Like Ryan said, she has had 159 blocks so far in her junior season, and as a team, the Eagles have had 449 blocks. Tara Brain is going to be a key player for this Eagles team, not only this year, but next year in her season season as well. It will be interesting to see what the rest of the playoffs will look like for this incredible Eagles team.